Research has shown that Papua New Guinea has one of the highest stunting rates in the world. The causes of child stunting are multiple and span many sectors, thus any work in this space must be multisectoral in nature. The Child Nutrition and Social Protection Project will support the convergence of nutrition-sensitive intervention that include agriculture, health education, social protection, as well as water hygiene and sanitation. The target is basically the child between zero and two years old. Two years old, we've got plans to expand it into another uh, opportunity for community development to pick it up. And there are discussions already on how we can uh, progress this into the future. According to the Deputy Secretary for DJ Stanley Raka, the project is comprised of three components. So for the next five years, every mother that's going to be registered or entered into the project or activity, that will be part of the beneficiary arrangements for two, two plus something. Antenatal care, child nutrition, awareness on how you're going to take care of the child, one of nutritional values or nutritional uh, dietary requirements for beginning in. And by uh, component number one, and National Department of Health by Lookout Age. Number two, DFCDR looks at the tra cash transfer. It's a quarterly um, uh, arrangement of about 90 kina that will be provided to the mother. CNSP is funded by the World Bank at a cost of 90 million US dollars equivalent to 300 million kina. The project will be implemented in four provinces from the four regions. East New Britain was the first province to implement CNSP representing the island's region. Nadang is now the second province representing Momasia region and the other two provinces are Simbu in the highlands and Western in the southern region. One of the more different challenges that every context has is what we're drawing on to improve on the, on the way forward for the project within the next five years. Provincial Administrator Frank Lau thanked DJAG for choosing Medang province as one of its pilot locations. So far, more than 300 mothers have been registered in the pilot project from Rewa and Kranket Islands. Over the course of the five years, any lactating or pregnant woman will be registered under this project. Even babies whose mother have passed away or given up Caregivers will also be captured within this project. It's a 1,000-day project, so even after the mothers give birth, the baby will still be under the incentive and the project until the child reaches two years of age and will be graduated from this project. Mothers will receive free antenatal care, awareness and education on child nutrition and a quarterly incentive of approximately 90 kids.